honestly, playing through Radical Dreamers for four days in a row just makes me want to play Chrono Trigger. I, I almost wish I could play it. And what do you know? There isn't a, w a way to play it. We could get it on Steam right now, guys. Don't you want to play the Steam version with all its great smoothing over and, and horrible iOS menus? You know, this version of the game? Yeah. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Screw that. Screw it. We're doing it the proper way. We're doing it the proper way, and it's going to take me a month and a half to beat it. But fuck it. I don't want an RPG break. I want to play some goddamn Chrono Trigger. It was the plan all along! To lead into Chrono Trigger from Radical Dreamers. No, it wasn't. To be honest, I wanted an RPG break so badly, and then I was like, you know what? You know what? I need to play, like, actual Chrono Trigger. Also, I don't know if the music played when I played that stupid video clip, because uh, apparently OBS does not play it on my end. But yeah, we're officially in Chrono Trigger now. It had to happen. Uh, I should change my uh, stream info, actually. Bilinear filtering. Hey, it's good shit. Look, this game was a technical marvel, honestly, in my opinion. I will say, this game... Yeah, no. Yes, it did play. Okay, good. It took me like 10 minutes to make that stupid 3-second video. And that isn't even the, um... That isn't even the song I wanted to use. I wanted to use that stupid, uh... Bump bump. Bump bump. Bump bump. Bump bump. Horn. And I couldn't figure out what that song was called. So instead I went with the classic, uh, Dun Dun Dun. But yeah, I told you you'd be happy with this choice of game. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've ever played the SNES version. I've only ever played, uh, the DS version prior to this. And let me tell you something. If I had not known this game existed before the DS version came out... I would have thought this game came out in two, for the first time in 2008, because it was that damn good. This game ages near flawlessly. There's maybe like one or two things about the DS version that wasn't that great, well, the, about this version in general that wasn't that good. In fact, I probably, the thing about the DS version I liked the least was um, the new content they added to it at the, at the end, the post-game stuff. I actually thought that was very repetitive and boring, and um, it's, impre it's impressive that it's the new stuff that I didn't like, while all the old stuff was perfect. To me, this game is like the antithesis of Secret of Mana, where I played that game two years ago and I was like, man, this game needs to be redone really badly. It's very frustrating and slow, and the magic system's terrible, and guess what? The remake didn't fix any of it, so congrats on that. However, I will praise the remake in having voice acting, because I know some of the voice actors in it. And, you know, it's good that they're getting more work. Anyway, there's a file here already. For some reason, this is a file my brother was using a long time ago. I don't know how I got it on my computer, but, I mean, my, uh, Super Nintendo. But, whatever. We're obviously starting from the beginning. Uh, battle mode. Active. Enemies will attack you when you're not ready. Take your time. Well, obviously I'm gonna choose active, because I'm not a fucking baby. Enter a name, then push the start button. We're just gonna go with Chrono. Ah. 
I'm not saying Secret of Mana didn't have its upsides. It, it certainly had some good points to it, but eh, they could have done a lot better with it. And the and the fact that they missed fixing most of the problems with the remake is just it, it, it feels like Square Enix has lost their touch. Well, it's more that like they're out of touch with what people want. It's like like how we got the Steam version of Chrono Trigger a month ago, and it looks like trash. And even Capcom now is doing that too. Capcom with the Mega Man X collection, they have the same option to turn on high in quotation marks high quality filtering, and it looks awful. It looks terrible. It's literally just an emulator like filter over it that makes everything smooth. And it like blurs everything and it's like garbage. I'm like, what do you Capcom, come on. I mean at least they're making that optional, but really. It 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 doesn't even look good in the trailer. Anyway. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Chrono. Chrono. Good morning, Chrono. CT was pretty ahead of its time. I used to royally piss me off that PS1 game still went back to random battles. I mean, the random battles is a strategic design choice. I like how Chrono Trigger forgoes them, but I don't think that games that have them are bad necessarily because they have them. I mean, Chrono, uh, Secret of Mana doesn't have random battles. Secret of Mana, you run into enemies, right? Steam version doesn't exist. To be fair, they're adding in patches to the Steam version to fix it. Come on, sleepyhead. Get up. Ah, Lean's Bell makes such beautiful music. You were so excited about the Millennial Fair, you didn't get any sleep, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. Let's get moving now. Anyway, welcome to the next month and a half of my stream, beating this game. Six hours of this a week, it's gonna take me about how many weeks, like four? So there's... There's some t oh fuck no, don't hit the game bar button, I hate this controller. Oops. Uh, so, before I do anything... I'm going to make sure that's on that. Battle speed, normal, window color. Make it something nice, something classy. We'll go with the uh, classic. Save menu cursor, no. Save battle cursor, no. Save skill item cursor, yes. Battle mode active, stereo on. Battle gauge one, control pad. I'm going to change dash to R. Cancel can be B. Yeah, we'll keep everything else normal. Just because the B button, or A button on my controller, rather, is kind of busted. So the less I have to press it, the better. And since dash is a button that you need to hold down quite often, I'd rather have it be a button that I'm not using that much. Can't exchange. Can't save. Need five skill points. So I've never actually seen the menus like this before. I'm used to the DS version's menus where everything's kind of... ...optimized for touchscreen. Alright. I think we've got this, uh... Got this safe. Okay. Finally! By the way, that inventor friend of yours... Oh, uh, you know. Oh dear, I've forgotten her name. That's right, Luca. Didn't she invent... Did, didn't she, don't forget... Oh, fuck. Don't... I'm already starting this and I'm fucking up because I'm halfway into a stream right now. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm not doing this fresh. I'm doing this after an hour and a half of streaming. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. <laughs> yeah, about that. Sorry, I keep instinctively hitting fast forward because of, um, because of Radical Dreamers. Also, yeah, look, here's the fridge. Lie was right, there is modern technology in 1000 AD. I don't think there's much of anything to do around here right now. 
Hard to believe Guardia is now 1,000 years old, and our king is the 33rd descendant of the throne. But how can he rule a kingdom when he can't even control his own daughter? Move! Yeah, getting caught in this game is uh, a little annoying. Good morning, Chrono! That brat Luca says she's made the discovery of a lifetime. Wow, that's rude. I'm pretty sure they changed that in the fan translation. Or not the, f the DS version. There's no fan translation here. Also, if you hit Y, you can switch if the text box is on the top or the bottom because you can move in this game while talking, which is neat. I'm so happy I could scream! Yes, ev we everyone is Vegeta in this game. Chron Chrono is Vegeta Prime. Visit our stall in Lean Square. Mayor's Manor. Whoops. Hi, do you know about our establishment? This is the Mayor's Education Center. Think of it as a workshop for beginners. You could take the things you find here. Need a brief weapon and item seminar? Weapons include swords, bows, and guns. Some weapons can only be used by specific party members. You'll find a variety of armor for the head and body. Finally, there are numerous accessories with unique properties and effects. As you gain power, swords will inflict greater damage. Bows and guns will get more powerful as your hit rate increase. Use the Y button to move the message battle window up and down. You can walk while reading messages, but go too far and you can miss them. You know about shelters? They're quite useful. Use shelters at save points or on the world map to completely restore your HP and MP. Scattered throughout this world are places where you could save your game. Save whenever you can, especially in any unfamiliar or dangerous areas. You actually can't save at that one. You could push him out of the way, but you can't save at it. Everyone is Vegeta. Alright, I'll teach you about skills. Are you willing to learn? They don't even... Like, it's not even required. They just... There's just a guy there that can teach you them. You don't have to if you don't want to. During combat, the effect of each attack can vary. First, some of your attacks will damage more than one enemy. For example, target this critter. And your attack will hit another monster in the area. But if you target this one, you can get all three at once. Use this fact to your advantage. Next, you can hit enemies in your direct line of sight. There are two attack patterns. The first one allows you to attack all the enemies oriented on a straight line from you. This game was so ahead of your time. I still remember getting stuck in lengthy text sequences because I accidentally hit action after a lengthy text sequence. <laughs> but I mean, it's nice because you could just walk away from it. You may place the cursor on any one of them in the line. And then the other pattern allows you to hit only the enemies between you and a straight line to your target. As in the previous example, all three enemies are targeted here, but... Select this one, and that's all you'll get. Next, use an enemy to establish a line, and any others near it will also be hit. They're lined up horizontally here. So you may target any of them. The final pattern puts you at the center of the attack zone. You can't use an attack like this if enemies are outside of the zone. However, your attack will hit all the enemies inside the active zone. That's about it. Feel more confident? Want my advice? You've got potential. You'll learn a number of techniques as you progress. Techniques are magic attacks that also utilize your weapons. You'll acquire them with discipline. Want to learn about damage in battle? Some monsters have special attacks. Poison HP slowly decreases. Your attacks are weakened. Ooh, I actually did not know that. I didn't know poison affects your attack power. Slow increases time between attacks. Sleep lowers your guard. A good hit will wake you up again. K 
Chaos confuses you into attacking allies. A little tough on friendships. Getting that during the final battle is awful. Blind, you can't see too well. It's hard to hit enemies. Lock, can't use any techniques. Stop, immobilizes and disables you. In these situations, your guard is down and you'll sustain more damage. Use heal or wait until the battle ends to heal automatically. Would you like to hear more? When your HP hits zero, you'll be disabled. Use revive to restore yourself, but if everyone goes down, you're through. Be careful. Hold down the L and R buttons to escape from battle. No one to run, but you need to fight to grow strong. How about the equip menu? Numbers next to the sword and shield indicates attack and defense power. The higher the number, the greater the power. M defense indicates your ability to block magic attacks. If it's 10, the magic damage will be reduced by 10%. A star after any characteristic means it's at maximum strength. Let's take 100 gold from the mayor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the collision on this hip, like, this, her hitbox is just really big. I'm like, is my controller bugging out? No. Truce in. Lodging is 10G. No thanks. See you around. Been to the fair yet? Well, get going then. You have to wait a thousand years for another millennial fair. Come on in. Take your bloody time. I'd rather serve you than go to the fair anyway. Something tells me that's a little vitriolic there. You buying? Sure. Thanks. I'll play you a song. Remember the earthquake we just had? No? Airhead, huh? Well, never mind. We've been having too many. Something's wrong. Hope the big one ain't coming. This box has been in the family for generations. Open it and you may have what's inside. Sealed by a mysterious force. I could have swore there's something behind him, but I don't think there is. I think I might just be wrong. It's 10G to pour. Hop aboard? Nah. Sometimes a mysterious whirlpool appears in the ocean near here. What could cause that? If only Fritz would return, I'd ask for nothing more. Song was cut too short, and you'll get to hear more of it in a second. So this is Luca's house. She's a inventor. She's quite smart for her age. But no one seems to be home. Except her mother, Lara. Oh, hi, Chrono. Luca's off at Lean Square with her father, Tabin, unveiling her new invention. There's a reason she's always sitting down. So this game's pretty weird because, like, right from the beginning, you're allowed to go off the beaten path. Also, notice how the music's starting from where the uh, piano version stopped. I didn't realize that happens. So yeah, right, right from the beginning, the game's pretty open. You're allowed to walk anywhere you can see. There's no random enemies to worry about. I'm opening a stall at the fairgrounds. Why don't you drop by? All right, everyone, let's have some fun. Going to the fair. I always wanted to go to a 1,000th anniversary. Yes, a festival. Let's get crazy. I always thought this, the, the background here looked a little weird. The clouds are like pure black, and then you have the sunlight filtering through. It, it feels very ominous, and like, it's about to pour. Not like it's about to be like, oh, happy, fun, uh, fair day. 
So I believe hitting select on this screen, yeah, there you go, brings up the map. That, that didn't actually exist in uh, Chrono Trigger DS, because in Chrono Trigger DS, the map was always on the bottom screen. I believe it was done in parchment. It wasn't done in, like, a pixelated uh, looking ground. So you can wander into the next town over, which is poor. Uh, the mayor here is a complete dick. Ha! <laughs> I run this town, and I'm so rich I don't know what to do with it all. Give you a 10G if you act like a chicken. <laughs> here you go, 10G. Dad loves more money more than he loves me. The person I hate the most? My dad, of course. I totally sympathize with that feeling. Or empathize with it. The children here slipping away from us. It's so sad. Everyone says daddy's greedy. They're lying, right? So yeah, those black boxes come into play much later in the game. There's a shelter. He won't be missing it. I want to go to the festival, too. Grandpa and Grandma went to the 1,000th anniversary in Truce. We're keeping an eye on things here. Snail stop. Some monsters coexist with humans, like that piano player. I got the best jerky in town, but I'm saving it. I might let some go for, say, 9,900 G. How about it? Not enough cash. 400 years ago, a woman named Fiona died trying to save the great forest that once flourished to the north. How sad. Everyone's over at the festival. What fools! I'm the piano man. Play a sad one, Joe. Now you are all depressed. Something upbeat, please. See, like, that, that just the fact that he's playing that song. First off, that song doesn't show up until the future. But it's funny that the, uh... He's playing the future, like a song from the future now. Again, the technology in 1000 AD is kind of weird. Because they do have electricity, obviously. I mean, they got the lights in the corner. They have radios. Nothing like a ferry ride. I take the ferry every chance I get. Market. Uh, I don't- we don't need to buy anything right now. Here's the pour in. 20G in advance. Well, nope. Come again soon. No chests here. One-way ticket is 10G. Want one? There you go. Have a nice day. Nice relaxing ferry ride. See, you almost don't realize how far you travel, but it's because there's no random enemies, which is such a great idea. The fact that, like, you could still go and farm them, they're just not on the world map. Anyway, we've been screwing around long enough. Let's go to... Lean Square. Welcome to the Millennial Fair. Have fun. The Steel Runner might try something. This is the renowned Tent of Horrors. 
Spend your zero silver points here. Parental discretion advised. The race is on. Be quiet and watch. I heard Luca and her dad have made another crazy invention. Hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. This is Lean Square. They say that people who hear Lean's bell ring will have interesting and happy lives. Tonic, Kilo, Revive, and Shelter. Eh. Those runners are busy racing, so they won't talk to you. Press the A button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully and press the A button again. We can do this. Got it! Impressive! I'll put one silver point on your card. The kingdom's been through a lot, like the war against Magus 400 years ago. Is it Magus or Magus or Magus? Having, thank goodness things are so peaceful now. Having visible enemies is essentially giving the player another degree of control over the game. That's true. Karate Gi in a bronze helm. Uh, again, not really worth it right now. There's Melchior. Buy something from Melchior the Swordsmith? Sure. Load Sword, Iron Blade. I live on the continent to the east. Come see me sometime. I heard this guy plays big bucks for charms, weapons, pendants, and other rarities. What's the big deal? So what if we won a war against a wizard hundreds of years ago? Astron's winner, Cadillac. Guess the winner? Sure. Steel Runner, Gamble, Green Ambler, GI Jogger, Cadillac. Green Ambler. Come on, dude. Faster. Damn, dude, he blew past him. He was last last time, wasn't he? I guess it's just completely random. Come on, dude. Why, why are you in last? I, I think that they're never going to... It's programs so you can't win. Why didn't you win... Why didn't you win last time, you jerk? Friggin... Alright, enough. Enough screwing around here. <laughs> hey! Ouch, that hurt. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant. Oh no, don't tell me I lost it. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant. That's a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? You're a true gentleman. Oh, by the way, my name is... Uh, er... Marl. Not Marley. I don't know who pronounces it Marley, but it's Marl. Um, Marl. And you're... Chrono. What a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on.
I hate fairs. Say, do you know the latest gossip? Just between you and us, I heard that the king is distressed over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once, I would like to see how wild she really is. Then scram. They're still setting up. Why don't you come back in a while? You have one silver points. Want to exchange ten silver points for 50 G? No. That is most certainly not worth it. No time to talk. I'm just sitting down for my lunch. Keep going if you want to demo Luca's robot battle trainer. Collect silver points if you win. Wow, where's my cat? I think you could get her to your cat, to the cat to you. There, there it is. Essentially, you want to do all good things here. And it's funny because there are so many, like, little things you could do to screw it up. You brought back my cat. Thank you. You're so sweet, Chrono. It's a soda guzzling contest. Press the A button as fast as you can. Ready, set, go. It's impossible to win this normally. I think six or seven is usually where most people lose. Yeah, only six cans, but the best you could do. You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? Yeah, well, I got a little... Shift page down. You're going down, asshole. Try 60 presses of that per second. Not bad. I'll put five silver points on your card. So essentially, if you have Turbo A button enabled, you can just, um... You could just blow through that easily. Wait a minute, what was it? Shift or control? <laughs> Shift. Okay. After pressing the B button and dance dashing here and there, I'm just pooped. But this dance has rejuvenated me. Catchy rhythm. Use the X, Y, L, and R buttons to dance. Prehistoric dance. How enchanting. Ah, dee da dee da Get some spending money from the Elder. Or got some spending money from the Elder. Jurassic Rhythm. Wow, these... Collision boxes are really bad. <laughs> Either that or my controller was fucking up. Luca's device is all set up. She's at the north end of the square. By the way, could you talk that young lady into selling her pendant? No. If you eat that bag, you get full health refill. But well, we don't want that. They call me Gato. I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. Oh wait, I have to talk to him again. Okay, there we go. It's funny because you can indeed... Oh, actually no, you can't get a game over here. You can get a game over in the forest right now if you go there.
I don't believe he drops any tech points, though, so it's kind of pointless to uh, fight him for too long. He's kind of fucking chrono up. Oh no, he does drop a tech point. I lost, you won, here's 15 points, now wasn't that fun. It, that does not go with, like, it, it's really hard to match it to the beat. Uh, he gave me points. Wait, fuck, fuck, where's text? There we go. Need nine, need four. Well, I could, eh, it's not worth beating up on him until she learns heal. Since I don't have her for very long anyway, it's kind of pointless. Hold your horses, I want to get some candy. Give me just a second. Whoa. Hi, I'd like some of this. Sure, young lady. Oh, I thought that was a guy. Whoops. Thanks for waiting. There's like weird hit collision like here on the side of this object. Unless it's the lady. The lady just has really big... Really big hitbox. Step right on up, any of you who have the time and the courage. Our super dimensional warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump up here. And you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Oh. Luca's inventions never work right. Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. Check out that girl's glasses. She could probably see the backside of the moon with those. Chrono, where have you been? No one wants to try the telepod. How about you? It looks like fun. I'll watch while you try it out. I think the point of Robo or of Gato is basically farming for silver points. After grinding, you don't go in to go in the forest. That's true. Just hop into the left pod. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Oh wow, that was great. I guess even her inventions work sometimes. Check out that girl. Oh, okay. It worked? I can't believe it. Uh, er, a thrilling display of science at its best, ladies and gentlemen. So how was it? Want to try it again? Can I actually have him try it again? Yeah, he can. Oh, you can leave, but nothing happens. What a kick. I want to try it, too. Huh? Hey, Chrono. How did you pick up a cutie like her? Hang on, Chrono. I'll be right there. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Yeah, I just imagine Luca to have Bulma's voice, more or less, since she is Bulma. Just like Chrono is a uh, Vegeta. You're sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way. Throw the switch. Okay, everyone. Let's give her a great big hand when she reappears. All systems on. Begin energy transfer.
What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? Oh shit! She got eaten by a blue hole. Luca, where is she? Show's over, folks. Let's head along now. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared, it couldn't have been the telepod. The warp field seemed to be affected by her pendant. What are we going to do now? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. Wait, what? You're surprised that I said that Luca is pretty much Bulma? I mean, she is. If you look at Bulma, she's... Same hair, just different, um... Different color. And her face is, like, the same... Look, more or less. What are we going to do now? Chrono. You're actually going to do it? A fine lad. Listen. I don't know where this machine is going to send you, but we don't have any other choice. Won't they both be lost? This is our only hope. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono. Embrace yourself. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. Power to full. But the voice part? Eh. Roger. It's just the easiest for me to associate, so I do that. More. Give me more power. Roger. There, we did it. Also, how come Chrono took the pendant with him? I'll follow after you after I know what went wrong. Good luck, Chrono. So what I think I'm going to do is play this game to the normal ending, do all the side quests and stuff, then maybe next year I'll do New Game Plus and uh, get all the endings. Nice. Critical hit right off the bat. <laughs> Six experience points, three tech points, 36 G. Your friend who's a huge DBZ fan used to rename the characters after ones from DBZ, like renaming Chrono to Gohan. I could kind of see that. Chrono definitely has more of, like, a Vegeta face, though. Which is where that joke image comes from, where it's, Good morning, Chrono, but everyone has Vegeta's face. Alright, now we can actually fight. Got a tonic. Got a power glove. Power plus two. Speed plus one. Oh, my speed's already pretty high, so we'll keep the power glove.
These guys were minding their own business and Chrono just brutally murders them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shit. I didn't realize I didn't refill my health. I'm dead. I think that took us, it takes us all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> Whoops! Well, fuck. That was stupid of me. I should have saved. And I didn't. Don't worry, we'll, we'll redo all that real quick. It was literally... N fuck. Again, I was dicking around because I was also talking to everyone, so... Grab the items down from poor. I completely forgot to save during all that. <laughs> Get the 100 gold. No. Okay, there we go. Got my silver points back. Okay, there we go. I was like, wait a minute, why isn't, uh, going forward? Oh my god, fuck, fuck, really? Okay, with the menus. Before I do anything, let's let me uh let me restock myself this time. Can I sleep at Chrono's house? Actually, wait. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. Oh, nice. My, how nice! I've only seen you with Luca. Who's your pretty new friend? Hi, I'm Marl. Eh, Marl? I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before, dear. Now, where was that? Run along now and be back before dinner. Can I use my own bed? Yeah, how about a snooze? There we go.
There we go. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Why did- why did I fucking- alright. I don't want to leave immediately, because if you don't move, then it's better. There we go. Okay, now we're ready. I just don't want to waste time here because we've already seen it. <laughs> okay. We're back and we're not going to fuck up this time. Wow, I am I'm sorry I'm not used to these these weapon, these menus. <laughs> okay, there we go. Also, if I wanted to finish this quickly, I could have just used this cyclone. So, we're now in 600 AD. Well, it says question marks because they don't want you to know that yet. Millennial Fair? Here? What are you talking about? It's the year 600 and the 21st King of Guardia reigns. Thank you for being so succinct so I don't have to ask anyone else. We've been at war for years. When will it end? Love this game. Well, you wouldn't have loved how I was playing just a second ago because I got to here, died, and had to redo everything. <laughs> but yeah, this game is great. I want to fight Magus' army. Wonderful. But remember to equip yourself with the weapons you buy. No window shoppers. What do you want? See, buying new weapons now is kind of pointless because you get, like, such a small attack boost. Not worth it. Let's buy a heal. Let's buy two heals. Oh, you know what? Let's buy three. I'm Banta, the blacksmith. I'm forging a bell for King the King to present to his beloved Queen Lean. I lost it when the queen disappeared. I just couldn't keep working on the bell, but now it's back to business as usual. My husband wants a daughter who's as intelligent as she is beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Luca's uh, ancestors. Yeah, if you walk into him, uh, he bangs the bell faster. Where am I? Are you stupid? This is the Kingdom of Guardia. We're battling Magus's army. Magus is, is, is... You did know that, of right? Of course I did. Then shut your pie hole. Lovely. We need, we need more ignorant strangers around here. Millennial Fair? What? Are you crazy? What nonsense. 
What a relief. They finally found Queen Lean wandering up in the mountains. She must be glad to be home. Are you a stranger here too? I'm Toma the Explorer. If you're buying, I'll tell you a story. How about it? Cider, please. Whoop! A lot of garlic snapped back immediately. Thanks. It's about the missing queen. She disappeared a while visiting that cathedral to the west and... Beg your pardon. What? They found her? Never mind. I was sure there was something fishy about that cathedral. Everyone was worried. The king freaked out when the king took off. The queen took off. We all thought Magus had grabbed her. Thank goodness she's safe. The Magus's army... The Magus is... The, Ma the Magus? Okay. I guess it would be Magus then, or Magus... I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced. Army destroyed Zenon Bridge, so the South Continent is in inaccessible. I don't think you could actually talk to that one. I have to look that up. I, n I have to know what the proper name for that character is. That'll be 10 gold. Register? That's a weird way of uh, wording it. So I forget how those boxes work. I think it's like if you talk to it in the future and then say, don't take what's in there out and then go back to the past. Or no, if you talk to it in the past, don't take what's out, then go to the future, you get a better item, but then you could go back to the past and take the better, the lesser item out of it. And I believe the boxes are only in 600 AD and 1000 AD. They're not in any of the other ages. We want nothing but world peace, or a piece of the world. <laughs> you might like to stick around for the organ recital. It's a real killer. People wouldn't know what to do with themselves in a truly peaceful world. My, what delicious, er, I mean, delightful looking humans. Oh dear, it looks like you could use some food and a place to rest. Bridge is being fixed because Magus' army trashed it. But until Sir Cyrus returns, we'll fight Magus' army tooth and nail. Hold on a second, I have to pull up the uh, stream program. All right, so we got a half. I got a half hour left. Monsters. Ow. You little prick. Rolly Riders. Oh, come a little closer. Oh, fuck this. Ow. Eat it, Namekian. Power tab. Those increase one skill by, uh, or one stat by a point, right? Power plus one.
Yeah, I really have to keep an eye on the HP here. I'm not... It's... it's. I believe the DS version... Ha like, the way that... I love the way the DS version handles the battles. Just because you have everything on the bottom screen. It's all touch-enabled. You don't have, like... You still get the same 3x3 three three grid of attack tech item for all three party members. But you could just use the touch screen to select everything. And it's very, uh, very much... It's very, it's big, it's not cluttered, because it takes up the whole screen. And it's just, it's just very nice to have. If it were up to me, I probably would be streaming the, the DS version, but... I don't think that would run on this computer very well. And I don't have a capture card, so... Monster dropped a shelter. I do like the, uh, the magic system, or the tech system in this game. It's very well thought out. It, it, it plays to the both turn-based and the real-time strategy of the game with the enemies moving around. It's nice because you can't just launch an attack on, like, one enemy and be like, okay. Or you, you you can, but you can also play it safe, wait for enemies to group up, and then take them all out at the same time. And it's nice because it requires, like, a fair bit of strategy to use it well. Dead end ahead. Also, yeah, there's a, there's a little screen tearing for some reason. Approaching Guardia Castle. No trespassing. Halt. Who goes there? Check out that hair. Where are you from, son? Are you one of Magicus... Magic... Well, even now, I can't say that word right. Are you one of Magicus' troopers? Hardly. This kid would have never made the cut. Show us your stamp collection, son. Ha <laughs> ha. Now beat it, shrimp. Stop that at once. Queen Lean. Show your manners. This is a friend of mine. But there's something odd about him. You refuse to obey my orders? Forgive me, my lady. Please enter, sir. <laughs> Please pardon us. We revere our queen's guests. I envy you, whom the queen calls friend. Knight's quarters is downstairs. Go downstairs if you want to rest. <laughs> Vegas news? Hell yeah, I need it. Max's troops are strangely quiet. Something's about to happen. Ugh. Oh, if only Sir Cyrus were here. You heard of him, haven't you? You don't know of Sir Cyrus. From which land do you come? Or are you simply a fool? Long ago, a beast called Yakra lurked in the western forest. But after the cathedral was built, Yakra disappeared. We're thankful for that. If he were here, this whole mess with the Queen would have never happened. Sir Sai was first commander of the Knights. His mission was to protect the King and Queen. He and a friend left on a journey ten years ago. No one has heard from them since. What a relief. The Queen's been found. Now we could concentrate on the war. Zenon Bridge was our last line of defense. We must guard it with our lives. So you're the one who helped the Queen. Talk to the maid if you need rest. A 
The dining room's below. The chef's got a nasty temper, so don't get in his way. Dining room's for us soldiers. So Hungry? Sit down at the upper left corner of the left table. It's an oddly specific place to sit. I... I'm hungry. Here's your food! Alright! This is great! So, you saved Queen Lean! This place is a mini war zone. This is no place for kids. Wait, maybe you know. What's this ice cream stuff that Queen Lean wants so badly? Where's supper? Oh, Captain, I'm sorry. We're fighting a war out there. Can't you even keep us fed? What are you fussing about? You're not the only one who's fighting out there. Hey, I don't have the time for this. Just feed my men, okay? Shut your trap. I'll decide who's going to get fed and when. The night captain is normally very kind. The chef just rubs him the wrong way. The night captain is trying hard to fill the shoes of his predecessor, Sir Cyrus, commander of the knights. Those two are brothers. You've heard the expression sibling rivalry, right? Also, the chef and the knight commander are brothers. That's interesting. Oh, I can't get the food. King Guardia the 21st is in the throne room. Mind your manners. Sir, I understand that you are the one who saved my dear wife, the Queen. But can you tell me what happened? It leans acting rather odd. And she seems to have lost her coral pin, which was something she guarded with her life. Forgive me, you must be tired. We could talk about this later. Please rest in the knight's quarters, downstairs to the left. Hmm. King's room is upstairs. The knight's quarters are downstairs to the left. What are you doing, dude? Where are you going? I'm taking that. Hmm. Oh, what do you want? Get out of my face! Between us, the Chancellor's been acting very strange lately. He's been sneaking out at night. Speaking of nutcases, I haven't seen the Queen's Guard, that frog thing, recently. Heard a spell turn him into a frog. Do you believe that? I think he's a spy. People say the Chancellor's gone crazy, but I don't believe it. The Chancellor's a decent man. Why, he goes to the Cathedral every day. Bronze mail. Wow, that is a pretty boot, pretty big, uh, pretty big boost. Pretty big boo 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 boo. Pretty boo boo boo. Can I sleep in the king's bed? No. What a bummer. The queen seems to be waiting for you up in her room. Queen awaits. The Queen married into the family ten years ago. 
She still looks so youthful. In fact, she looks even younger now than on her wedding day. You saved our queen? You don't look that tough. Ah, there you are. Please leave us. I need to talk to this individual. Certainly, your highness. Nope, there's no ice cream in uh, 600 AD. Come nearer, sir. How? Oh, I was already there. <laughs> Fooled you, didn't I, Chrono? It's me, but everyone calls me Lean. I'm so relieved you're here. We barely know each other, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Thank you, Chrono. S something's wrong. Well, what's happening? It feels like I'm being torn apart. Help me, Chrono. I'm scared. Please, Chrono, help me. Uh, it definitely is a little less impactful than the... Because, alright, I played it... Like I said, the first time I played the game, it was the DS version. And while they're, they don't originate from that version, they originate from the PlayStation version from Final Fantasy Anthology. There's actually animated cutscenes that play. And that was one of them. The scene of uh, Marl getting displaced in time. Has she dismissed you already? You were polite, of course. You didn't do anything funny, did you? Oh, we can't let this juicy tidbit out of the castle. Do you notice anything odd about the queen? Just as I thought, she claims she's not lean. There's something different about her. Don't mention this to anyone. Okay, if you say so. Are you sure? I grow so tired of the gossip around here. Chrono. Oh, it's... It's Luca. <laughs> You're okay. Did you find that girl? That girl? What, what is, I, I always... That's a problem I always have when I say the word the. Sometimes I'll say that and the at the same time. The girl. That girl. Gone? What do you mean she's gone? Hmm. <laughs> it's just as I thought. I knew I recognized her. And this looks identical to the castle in our time. I'll bet they mistook the girl for her ancestor. You see, she's a member of the royal family in our time. She's Princess Nadia. Marl, that is, Princess Nadia is a descendant of Queen Lean. Lean has been kidnapped. As I recall, someone was supposed to have saved her, but history has been changed. Mara looks so much like Lean that they probably called off their search when she appeared here. But if the real queen is killed... Mara will simply disappear. There might still be time. If we could save Lean, history as we know it should remain unchanged. Something must have happened to the Queen in this era. As a result, Princess Nadia ceases to exist. Don't you notice there's some weird spacing errors in some of these words, like Princess Nadia right there? Definitely has an extra space between it. Hurry, we have to find the real Queen.
So does the game, like, hint that you're supposed to go to the cathedral? I guess it does, in a way. I mean, a bunch of characters drop the hints, but... Uh, oh right, I am... Um... Also, sorry, I'm getting a little sleepy. <laughs> Uh, that lowers her defense, and s with sight scoped bandana plus one, shows enemies HP. I will wear that. Oh, it shows it next to their name. Okay. Oh, speaking of, what about her text? Let's see. Alright, we still got a ways to get- well, obviously she gets flame toss first. Also, she's level 2. She get her level 3. Uh, I'm gonna stop in a few minutes, actually. Just because it's- that Radical Dreamer stream still took it out of me. <clears throat> and I'm, I am annoyed that I didn't get to see the true end of it. In full, at least. But I just- I just couldn't go through that again. And there we go. That's why you want her to learn that, so you can get the dual tech early. I do want her to level up to three, though, before we go to the next area. Funny thing is, as soon as I stop playing this, I'm going to be going right to uh, playing Persona 5. <laughs> Just because I'm, I'm trying to power through that game because I am not doing, uh, I am not going too quickly through it. Yeah, sorry. I mean, it has been three hours almost. Uh, it's been two hours and fifty minutes almost to the dot. So, ten minutes. Why can't I see the total stream time? Wasn't I able to do that before? Hold on. There we go. Now I can see every the bottom line pretty good. Queen returns, and the Queen's gone. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. What did you find? A hairpin? This is Guardia's royal crest! Hmm. 
me a babes. Okay, so that only hits one enemy. Does a lot of damage though. Naga Et's spell. Or Naga Et's heart. Slow spell. No, oh, Chrono's slow. He's slow no. And they're both slow. Or not. I have to try this double tech out. It's been a while. I've actually forgotten what a lot of the techs look like. Alright, and if, if uh, Luca's close to an enemy, she doesn't shoot, she just whacks him with the gun. Or whatever the hell that is. Phew, that was close. Ah. Lower thine god and doubt are allowing the enemy in. Thou art here to save the queen. The lair is deep within. Will thee accompany me? Uh, a frog? Chrono, it's a talking frog. I hate frogs. My guise doth not incur thy trust. Very well. Do as thee please. But I shall save the queen. W wait You don't seem like a bad, uh, person, frog thing, I mean. Chrono, what should we do? Go with the frog or refuse? I'll just have to hand it handle it. I mean, deal with uh him. What's your name? On the nose, but it is frog. Frog will do. <laughs> Alright, nice to meet you, Frog. Mayhap a hidden door lurks nigh. Let us search the environs. Yeah, boy, best character in the game. Even going in there is probably going to slow me down, honestly. Or it's going to take too long to get... Wow, actually, Frog's a higher level than the rest of us. Yeah, no, actually, I'm not going to try going any further forward because... Five minutes is probably not enough to hit the save point. Uh, also, we didn't restore any of our health, so... I will go to the inn, and then save the game, and we'll be done for today. But, remember, this is my spring cleaning stream week, or spring stream cleaning week, or... However the fuck you want to pronounce it, or word it. So what I'm gonna do is, uh... There will be a stream tomorrow, a full one and as close to a full stream as I can get on Thursday as well. So expect at least another, like, five and a half to six hours of this game soon. As in, within the next two days. But yeah, I'm happy to be playing this. I love this game. It's not overbearing despite being an RPG. I know what to do. It won't be too hard to get through it. And it will take a decent amount of time. I've actually planned out every stream from here until... Not every stream, but I have a game plan, a general game plan of every stream I'm gonna do from here till uh, the end of June when I do my yearly uh, Mega Man Battle Network stream, which will be 3 this year. It'll be Battle Network 3. But yeah, I, I should have exactly... Not exactly, probably more than enough streams to get to the end of all the games I have planned. And then maybe I'll do like a, a one-off or two before moving on to it. But that'll be the big game of the summer. Anyway, I'll talk about that more another time. For tonight, I think I'm going to head off. So, 
Uh, if you followed, thanks you, thank you for following. If you watched, thank you for watching. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow around... Hopefully earlier, because today I streamed from 8 to 11 uh, Eastern Time. Usually I stream from 7 to 10. But we had dinner late tonight, so had to wait an hour. Anyway, uh, I will hopefully see you all tomorrow. You have a great evening. Oh, right, wait, 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 wait. Before I go, is there anyone I want to host? And the answer is... Uh, my friend Cyrus is playing Destiny 2, so I'll host them. If you want to see some Destiny 2, like, competitive, stick around for that. Alright, you guys have a great evening. Good night.